Hello everyone, this is Dr. Guy in and I am back. I am back with another episode of PhD You Can Be. I've been gone for a long time, but I am back. Um, and a part of me coming back was going through my videos, looking at what I've already recorded, and I started looking at the comments and I realized that some of you asked me questions. And so I wanted to respond to those questions to hopefully help you make it through these programs. And so I had one uh, young lady who asked me, how do you stay motivated when you're in a PhD program? because she's in a slump and the crazy thing is that I can truly empathize with her because I've been there and I, I channeled back to that moment in my life and and I've tried to discover what did it take for me to push through those moments and so I have a few thoughts that I want to share with you um, and hopefully it'll help you so the first thing is that I always remember my purpose I had a purpose for going into a PhD program I didn't just say oh let me get this degree for the sake of getting this degree I had to have a purpose for getting that degree. And so um, one of my purposes, it was to fulfill a job that I wanted, this, this, this job I wanted as a senior level administration administrator in higher education, and you need a PhD for that. Um, the second was that as an African-American male, I didn't know a lot of African-American males with doctoral degrees. And so I felt like I needed to accomplish this degree in order to inspire others who look like me, inspire others who come from similar backgrounds as me and let them know that this is a possibility and so whenever I had those tough moments I thought back to my purpose I thought back to those little young African-American boys who don't have those role models and then I wanted to be that and it motivated me it motivated me to push through those tough times even though I wanted to quit I said I can't quit and so at that point when I realized I couldn't quit then I had to go into mode the mode of figuring out how can I make it through this tough time what do I need to do do I need to find a tutor? Do I need to talk to my professor? Um, do I need to go and do more research? What do I need to do to overcome this slump? And eventually I did. Um, the second thing um, that I wanted to instill in you is uh, find a group of people who can help motivate you. Luckily, I was fortunate. I had a cohort. I had a cohort of individuals who we all went through the same thing. And so all of us had rough days and we pulled each other up um, through those rough days. And so if you don't have a cohort, find other individuals who are going through some type of struggle in their program. If it's a PhD program, a master's program, follow, find somebody who, who, who you can feed off of each other and you can motivate each other because it's something about having a person who can empathize with your situation. I mean, I know your family tells you that you can do it which that's great um you know when they can it, speak life into you but it's another thing whenever you have somebody who's going through the exact same thing you're going through and y'all are feeling the same emotions but you're able to say we can make it and so find those individuals that can push with you um the final thing i want to say because i don't want this video to be too long is that PhD programs are designed to be tough. They are designed to challenge you mentally, uh, emotionally, physically, because you spend all those hours studying, all those hours writing, all those hours researching. It's supposed to take a toll on you. But that's what makes the degree what it is, is that the rigor of it. That's the whole purpose. If you just breeze through a PhD program, then I would say that, you know, I, I would wonder if that program is the rigor of a PhD program because I don't really want to bash any program but what I'm saying is is that a PhD program is supposed to be tough um, if it wasn't tough everybody would have it and so you just have to find within because you know what this is gonna be my last point you just have to say I'm not giving up and you have to say that I deserve this degree and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this degree and when you have that mindset you are going to do what it takes to get that degree um, and, and you have to find that self-motivation um, like I said it's good to have people around you surround yourself with individuals but sometimes it's just not there and you have to just personally say I'm going to remain motivated I'm gonna push even if you're not motivated you still have to do the work um, and that's what I would say um, are some tips for uh, staying motivated in a PhD program um, I'm pretty sure I could have probably thought of a billion things but Ultimately, it boils down to how bad do you really want it and how bad um, or how hard will you work to find the resources to help you make it through. And and I think that's ultimately what it boils down to. So I hope this video helped you. Please share it. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscri subscribed to the channel. Um, you'll see I do a lot of relationship coaching, but I am going to do more of these PhDs you can be. Um, so God bless each of you, um, and I'll see you on the next video.